it's okay, it's just a lawnmower. It's okay, it's just a lawnmower. <laughs> My lawnmower does this thing. Put on the choke, pull the choke, not the choke, the starter runs and then dies. Watch. This is your air filter that could be cleaned, yeah. Um, I don't think that's the problem. Behind this plate here is your carburetor. I'm not gonna take this off. We're gonna try and go up and under with this. And if that doesn't work, then we have to kind of go deeper. But I needed to use the mow mower today, mow blonde mower today. And I know this one trick, so let's try the trick. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna go down a rabbit hole of the fuel line. That could be fun, you know? Actually, to make this easier, I'm gonna take this plastic off because that way you can see what I'm gonna do a little better, all right? So you probably don't have to watch me do this. This is kind of like watching paint dry, right? Wow, a little dirty. So we need to remove that bolt, which is at the bottom of the carburetor. This is a 10 millimeter wrench, okay? I'm gonna put these screws back in because this holds the carburetor on the engine. So you don't have to take this front off, it's just so you and I can see this better, okay? There's gonna be gas coming out, that's why we put the rag here. Do not put this in an enclosed container. Um, I would let this air out in your backyard somewhere safe. It's, um, you put this in a can, it's a bad thing, okay? Uh, a new or pretty new can of carb cleaner with a straw and some safety glasses, okay? Because this can spray back and that would be bad if it got in your eyes, wouldn't it? Try and explain that at the ER. Now the tricky part. This goes upside down and this goes up and in. So let's see if we can do this. I want to turn this upside down, go up into there. as far up as I can get up in here. Note to self, don't forget to put the plug in the bottom because I just about took this thing off the table without this in there. Never a good sign um, when you put everything together and then this happens to me all the time, but I wanted to take the cover off to show you how to get to that bolt underneath the bowl. Um, I don't know if this is in the front of the carb or the back. I'm guessing it's in the front. This goes right here. Easy peasy. Turn the fuel valve back on again. As long as we're here, I'm just gonna clean this out. It's uh, not good to have all that junk in there. This is why you save toothbrushes, okay? I mean, I've got, maybe I have 10, but that's okay with me. It's just, use what you got. This is what we got. So. Uh, I'll link to that below. It's a really nice, uh, really nice winch to have. All right, why don't you girls, like, Get away from the machine while I start it, okay? Choke set. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one more time. It's, I know how this carburetor is laid out, but I'm thinking, knowing how that thing is laid out, just shooting some of this in there would be the brilliantly simple way. We can take the carburetor apart. It's not that hard, but I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm trying to keep it simple for you. Um, the only thing is you just have to watch me talk more, sorry. But um, I'm gonna try this again. All right. You notice the crud on the bottom of that? That's not a good sign, by the way. And then I'm gonna try and pop the bowl off. I'm gonna pop the bowl off and look. 
at that. So that is rust in the bottom of your bowl. That means that I haven't been using sea foam in my gas. When you let an engine sit, especially over the winter, uh, it can also happen in the summer. It just depends on where you are, but you can get a lot of moisture in your gas. It, it can come from the gas pump with water in it, believe it or not. And um, I have not been using sea foam, which absorbs water. Lesson learned here. You can't buy just this bowl and I'm gonna take the carb off now and I bet there's more corrosion in here. Take pictures of the linkage. Um, there's some stuff connecting here. So just take pictures as you take this apart. Look at that. I, I don't think it's worth trying to clean all that off. I think time-wise, we can buy an inexpensive replacement carburetor for this and um, move on to another project. So uh, through the magic of internet ordering. So because we took pictures, I know how this whole thing goes back together. Getting the washers to stay challenge. I'm going to put a little bit of grease on here and it'll stick on, I hope. Oops, dropped. Tricky, tricky. So I'm going to try and slide one of the carburetor bolts in. I have to get the gaskets lined up. That's gasket number one. Oh, wow. Ooh, that just, oh my, wow. That went in. That's a little too simple. That's the bolt, the carburetor bolt, and I'm gonna slide it into there. So, um, yeah, we got the whole thing on, except for this. That's the fuel line. Welcome to my world. I always forget that one key thing that's one of the first things you should do, so um, we'll just start over. Okay, it's on, it's not going anywhere. All right, that was a challenge, but you can do it. It really helps to have two people, and I did not have two people. Hi, how are you? Let's go see if this runs, all right? Come on, let's go. Come on, girls. Moment of truth. <laughs> 